Africa, well, even though na ayun nga, si Jared Brown, shooter, and they need a point guard, tapos si Ibonuay, they need size. At the end of the day, kasi yung team na yun, inconsistent, and feeling ko, they need a go-to guy talaga. And ayun nga, a point guard. Tapos, enter Jared Bahay. So, feeling ko, I think, this is a good move for Ateneo, kasi ayun nga, they could find the next go-to guy in him. Tsaka eventually, and apparently, point guard din siya. So, parang hitting two birds in one stone yung pagkuha nila kay Jared Baha yung atin. So, that's what I think about it. I kind of uh, I agree with Nerds. Uh, I'm just excited lang kung, um, kung paano magiging, magiging dynamic ng team with, with Jared Baha as, you know, being a ball dominant guy and like, late in mga late game situations. It, um, I'm excited to see kung ano yung mga mangyayari and stuff. Yeah, uh, let's hope naman na uh, everything goes well in the next season. Thank you. Um, sa akin naman, uh, okay yung move ni Jared Bahay na bumalik siya sa atin ngayon. Kasi if he goes to UP, if pinuli niya yung open, mm-hmm. sobrang Sobrang puno na kasi yung, yung, position. yung position niya for next season. Mm-hmm. Tapos, well, yun nga, since umalis rin si Jared Brown, okay na dumating si Jay House na pwede nilang i-develop ulit for the next, let's say, four years, di ba? So within within those four years sa pagstay niya sa Ateneo, feeling ko ma-well develop siya nila coach tapos. 